Okay, so we are looking at a parasitic load test. As you can see on this Ford truck, this is, uh, what year is this thing? 2004. Okay, 2004 Ford truck with a six liter power stroke. And we've got a parasitic load. Look, it just jumped back up. So that's 0.28 amps being drawn from this battery. And we've got, we've got the battery over on the other side. It's disconnected, so that one's out of the picture. We're looking to see how much current this thing's drawing. And with our ammeter hooked up in series with the negative battery cable, you can see it's, it's jumping back and forth between 0.28 and 0.14. Either way, it's way too high. Uh, there's no way you should be over 0.1. You know, we like to keep it down below 50 milliamps, which would be 0 0.05. So we're, we're way above that, and this thing does have a history of killing batteries after just sitting for a few minutes. So anyway, how did we figure this one out? Just, just go ahead and explain <laughs> what did we do. Okay, we got the ammeter hooked up. How do we determine what circuit it is that's drawing this, this kind of current? We started pulling fuses. Okay, so we start pulling fuses from the fuse box one at a time until we see the current drop down. And so you, you started doing that and you got to which fuse? Well, we got to the instrument cluster and interior lights fuse. Okay, what fuse number was it? Do you remember? Was it 2.35? F2.35. So yeah. fuse 2.35 in the, uh, let's see, under, under dash, right? Yeah. Fuse box. And then what happened to your, your high load here? It dropped to zero. It dropped to zero. So we replaced the fuse to confirm that we still had a parasitic load, and then we unplugged the connector. Okay, so uh, putting the fuse back in, the load comes back. So then we find a power distribution diagram. Do you have that diagram? So when you pull the fuse out, that makes your your ammeter reading drop down to zero or something very close to zero then you get a power distribution diagram so we got the power distribution diagram that that shows you can see fuses along the top here and then fuse 2.35 is this one and this is easy because fuse 2.35 only goes to the instrument cluster so that made this this diagnosis a little bit simpler so then we go to this C220C which is on the instrument cluster. So we we have the instrument cluster pulled out and there's only a couple of there's only a couple of fuse or a couple of connectors back there in the back. So I'm going to go back up here to our meter and we will have you uh, disconnect that connector. Okay, the dome light just came on. <laughs> did the dome light just come on? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. So our current jumped back up, so that doesn't count. Is the, is the door switch closed? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's let that dome light shut off so we can see, so it drops back down to our normal load. If we had a parasitic load that was 3.6 amps, that would, be, that would be massive. That would probably be so big that we would probably end up burning a component out to the point where it would short and blow the fuse. Okay, turn the dome light off. So the dome light's now off. We're, we're, still, we're still sitting at, well, no, we, it dropped back down. Okay, so there we go. Did you just unplug it? Yeah, just the one connector. Okay, so we unplugged one connector and we dropped down to somewhere in the neighborhood of 10, 10 milliamps. You can see it's flashing 0.01 to 0 0.00. So we're, we're back down to 10 milliamps. Okay. Did you just plug it back in or did the dome light come back on? Neither. Did it drop up? Well, it jumped up to 4 amps. Anyway, so the instrument cluster is now out of it. But that's the way you find a parasitic load is you've got to hook up an ammeter like this in series. So we, you disconnect your negative battery cable, you hook one lead to the battery, you hook the other lead to your, um, to your cable so that all the current going to this vehicle is traveling through this meter. So we can, we can actually measure it. So we're sitting here now that's that's a good level. Now on our door, our door, the switch, the door switch is in the latch position because we want to prevent that dome light from coming on because when it comes on, you know, the thing jumps up to several amps and gives us a reading that's totally invalid. So anyway, 
we go through the fuses, pull out the fuse that causes the, the current draw to go away, and then get a power distribution diagram to show you what is on that fuse. And then you're going to isolate each one of those systems. Well, in this case, there was only one system. It was the instrument cluster. So that made it, that made it pretty simple. We pull out the instrument cluster. The, pair, the load goes away. What that tells us is something is shorted inside that instrument cluster and allowing too much current to flow. So we need to uh, explore the possibilities of getting a new cluster for this thing, if possible. This truck is just a, a shop vehicle that was donated by Halliburton. So I don't know. We'll see if we want to spend the money to get a new cluster for it or, or not.